when it comes to menopause, there's even less conversation. And I'm delighted to say that the person who has opened the doors for a nationwide conversation on menopause is a man. Put your hands together for one of Mumbai's best known doctors, Nozer Sheriyar. Can we please open the door and welcome him on stage? And there he is. It's so good to see you. So, Dr. Sheriyar has a flight to catch, so we're going to keep this um, as efficiently short as we can. But Nozir Saab, what made you, come, you can, you, can, you can come here. What made you start talking about perimenopause and menopause? You have a book out recently, uh, which has talked about finding that balance for all of us. These young women, Asha ji abhi baat kari thi, ki period hota tha, to khun stool pe dekke loog kehte thi, ye yaha Asha baiti hai. But it's not as if when you grow older, Dr. Sheriyar, no one is talking about menopause, even though there are, what, 150 million? 150 million women at this point who are experiencing menopause and no one will stand up on stage and say the word. What made you look at this? Uh, thank you, Barkha. Thank you for this fabulous program. This is my third We the Women. It is. This is a he for she moment, and let's have a big round of applause. I first met Dr. Sheriyar in Mumbai, and once again, Jaipur, let's show that Jaipur is louder than Mumbai. Go for it. Yeah. So, so, you know, uh, the issues that you just discussed, menstruation, uh, the issue we discussed when we first met abortion, yeah. the next session was on infertility and yeah. surrogacy, yeah. are all extremely important issues. And I'm glad that many of these issues are now at least being spoken about. We need to do a lot more speaking, but they're being spoken about. But yeah. when this book came up, and I must give credit to a woman for inspiring me, because my co-author, Shonali Sabarwal, is a yeah. much published author. And she comes to me and said, could we do a book together? And we said, what do we do the book on? And what is it that, at the moment, is shrouded in silence? We went to the bookstore, and there are tons of books on pregnancy. I'm so happy they are there. We are now having conversations and organizations doing menstruation. But here is something that every woman is going to go through. And, and I, no one is talking about. And no one's talking about. And no one even knows the symptoms. You know, when you start getting hot flashes, when you can't sleep at night, your libido diminishes, and you don't know what's happening to you, and you think, Achha, ho gai. Yes. Ya hone wali. Yeah. So this, this is a time in your life. And you know, the whole thing is it's all menopause. Here's a young audience, and they'll say, why are these two talking to us about menopause? It's like decades yeah. away. But <laughs> trust me, we, we, we kind of looked at it and we changed the whole conversation. Why is that? Did you find menopause is hitting women younger? We are first talking about perimenopause because your changes start many years before menopause. Yeah. We are talking about the rest of your life after menopause because women are going to spend 40 to 50 percent of their lives after menopause. We are talking about perimenopause because each and every person in this room has someone they love who is probably going to experience this or is already experiencing this. These are people who have given you their life, who have given you their attention, who have given you their affection. It's time for payback for society. And I think it's time that everyone becomes aware and we don't want to hear all these stupid cliches about, oh, mommy is getting crabby, so she must be experiencing hormonal changes. Yeah, or yeah. even for women to generally sit, experience, sit, 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 women yeah. to experience this ridiculous thing about, oh, she's being difficult, so she's probably going to get her periods. Nobody tells a man that when he's being difficult or when he's being crabby, and men do that a lot. So I think this is a conversation that was waiting to happen. We believed that we needed to create something to give women the information and the tools. You have to arm yourself. Don't depend upon someone else. Go and find it and then challenge the Tell people. Tell us one thing, one stereotype about menopause that needs to be called out. So firstly, you know, the fact that menopause happens to everyone, so it's okay, you should just suffer it in silence. Oh, my mother suffered menopause. She never said anything. Oh, my menopause happens, so, so what? And very often, this is also, you know, I, 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 I once read something very interesting by Oprah Winfrey. And by the way, I'll never forget the interview did with, she, you did with her. Right she here said, in Jaipur, by the way. She said, where are your notes? 
where is your teleprompter? How are you doing this interview? To, to you. Yeah. So Oprah Winfrey said she went to five doctors and none of us, none of them told her that what you're really going through is menopause. Five doctors, Oprah Winfrey, probably the best people in the US. So if you're going to wait for someone else to take this forward for you, not going to happen. What we did, what we tried to do is we tried to create a conversation. Now, interestingly, books are always written from an angle, medical or non-medical. We saw some books on menopause, very anti-medical, very anti-hormones. Like what? What would, what would they say? I mean, that they, is say, they say false. hormones are bad. You shouldn't be on hormones. You shouldn't take hormone therapy. And uh, the other end, there were doctors in the West who do hormones for everyone. Ridiculous. Every woman is different. Everything has to be individualized. So now, if I was to break a stereotype, the first thing is a majority of women will experience symptoms of transition, 65, 70%. It's going to happen. 40% are going to experience more symptoms. And 10% the symptoms are going to be severe and disruptive. So, you know, as you're speaking, I see Mona Lisa, who does a lot of work in, in, in stopping the taboo, uh, culture of taboos around periods, also nodding along on the subject of menopause. What have you found in your findings? You know, you, 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 uh, you, you showed such vociferous and passionate agreement with Dr. Sheriyar. I just wanted to bring you into the conversation. And isn't it interesting that we have a man leading this conversation instead of a woman? Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's Isn't great. that great? I think I totally agree to when you mentioned that, you know, it just like, you know, it happens like women and this is women are made to believe. So when we get into the communities, rural communities, like, you know, you know, that whole sense, it is so ingrained in them, let's get with it. Like, you know, let's get our life with it. Let's not have, because nobody has told, because it's like, acha, phir excuse bana rahi hai. Ha. You know, phir bahane excuse, bana bahane rahi bana rahi hai. So these kind of things are there until they are given the information. No, this is again yeah. a transition journey for you. When you started menstruation, there was a transition. Now it's menopause. But again, look at it, what it means for women. When it's menstruation, you are judged. When it's menopause, you are judged. No, sir, is our biology going to be held against us? It's biology, it's stigma, with menstruation, I think it started with ignorance and fear. There was a time when people didn't understand why women bled every month, but I think part of it is also the fact that she didn't get pregnant at the end of the month. Fertility, infertility is stigma. So I want so to bring up a cultural reference. Have you seen Bombay Begums? So Bombay Begums, anyone here has seen it? Bombay Begums? Ma'am, you've seen it. You would remember that at one point, that's the only mainstream cultural series I've seen actually talk about menopause. Because the main character is having mood swings, she's having hot flashes, she's cantankerous, she's angry. And it's finally sort of identified as the fact that maybe she's going through menopause. Is there anybody here in this audience? We had a very difficult time getting a young girl to come and talk about her period. Anyone here before uh, we actually ask, uh, we honor Dr. Sheriyar, Anyone here who wants to stand up on stage, ma'am, please, and talk about menopause. Ma'am, can we get you on stage? Please. Thank you. Come. Hello. Hi. What's your name, ma'am? I'm Dr. I'm Dr. Sunila Khandelwal, and I must congratulate Barkha. You are doing a wonderful job. And uh, let, me, let me just give you a, a gist of my passion. I have. What would, you, what would you want to say on what you've heard about menopause That's and what doctor? What I'm saying. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm here. And uh, the important thing is, I have been working in this field exclusively on menopausal healthcare for last 26 years. And can you share? So, can you share with us because we're on short time? Yeah. Can you share with us the one thing that women experience through men in menopause? or up to menopause or in the period leaving, uh, leading up to menopause that no one understands. Go so much time. Okay, so that's the uh, worst part is suffering in silence. The Samaj jo hai hamare liye har tarike se mein ye maan ke chalti hoon ke mahilao ke liye udaseen hai. Hum, we, 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 your, we, ourself should come forward and say, this is a transition, this is what I'm going through. And the males should understand she is not irritable. She is not having any abnormal thing. It's a biological marker of the transition where the woman is facing some hormonal 
टर्बुलेंस एंड क्या कहते हैं औरतों को इंस्टेड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस क्या कहते हैं ये तो चिड़चिड़ी हो गई है ये तो ये तो इसको तो बहुत गर्मी लगती है ये तो दरवाजे खोल के बाहर खड़ी हो जाती है इसको तो कांटेक्ट में इंटरेस्ट ही नहीं है शी इज गेटिंग ओल्ड एंड बच्चे मैं आज यहां पर बच्चों को देख रही हूं आप बच्चों ये आपकी ड्यूटी है अपनी माँ को ये पहचाने कि एक शारीरिक बदलाव है ये कोई बीमारी नहीं है ये कोई अभिशाप नहीं है देखिए उनमें जो बदलाव आ रहे हैं आप खुद सोचते होंगे कि अब ये पहले तो ऐसे गुस्सा नहीं करती थी पहले तो इसका मेंटल बैलेंस सही था वो रात भर सो ही नहीं है उन्हें हॉट फ्लैशेज हो रहे हैं वो डिप्रेसिव एपिसोड में जा रहे हैं बहुत अच्छी बात की Yeah, has to fly back to Bombay, and we'll keep the conversation going with all of you. Request you to step okay. down. And thank, thank you, you so much. Thank and you. I am working for International Menopause Society for last 18 years. Brilliant. Make so I am. Yeah. Thank you Brilliant. so much for being here. Thank you. And thank thank you. you. So I have two mics because do I need two mics? Can you all hear me? Okay. I was just trying to check the room temperature. Okay. Here's the point. One of the things we love doing at We the Women. is to celebrate ourselves of course but also to celebrate men who stand as allies you saw gautam stepping up on stage earlier you have dr sheryar here and now we want to honor him as the man leading the menopause conversation in in uh, india instead of women it's it's a man who's really triggered this conversation and to present the next her award to him on stage is another man where is sanjit shetty where are you where are you there you are can we please have a big round of applause for sanjit bigger than that jaipur bigger than that he 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 is also from bangalore we got to put the bangaloreans down today another shetty also another shetty so come on bigger round of applause let me let me tell you about sanjit sanjit is another man trying to have a conversation about menopause his group mirror is actually working on issues in particularly related to women in midlife issues like menopause and i'm going to before i talk to him ask uh, our colleague here to bring out the next hope empower rise award dr sherya can i ask you to stand up on stage and i'm going to ask you let's have a big round of applause for these wonderful men here on stage louder than that louder than that that's wonderful tell us a little bit about why you decided to enter the space we have two men on stage talking about menopause things are changing right Thank you, Barkha. So um, I'm an engineer who uh, has an MBA from Duke, executive MBA from Harvard. I was living in Germany and Switzerland. I came back to India to do renewable energy. I run hydropower plants. Very comfortable life. Twenty months ago, someone told me about femtech, where technology can be scaled up for women solutions. Studied about 300 companies. Understood that some are doing for menstrual, some are doing for maternal. Not a, an, an eerie silence on menopause. Hmm. And I'm like, the women here, 35 onwards, which is one third of their life, are 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 so independent, confident, uh, uh, you know, so outspoken, but yet, just remain silent on such an important topic. And I said, wow, this is something I need to get into. And I really must congratulate. And really, I'm so proud to be sharing a stage with Dr. Nozer yeah. and you. And you Thank know, you. Dr. Khandelwal came before. Uh, and the the mil the so many doctors in India who are trying to do. So I am doing a small bit. I am today launching my two communities on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so I want women to talk. Then we have, and especially when there are so many things that can be done. Why are we staying quiet? when there are so many solutions you have so many wonderful people trying to do and barka thank you so much for bringing this no, topic no thank you, know? you and thank you for partnering us on this uh, festival dr nozer i'm going to give you the last word firstly i want i i really enjoy this moment I, actually can we change his trophy at the back we've given him woman of impact and although we believe in gender fluidity we need him to go home with the right award can i have it on stage please can i have the right trophy on stage but before that uh, dr sheryar you know i think this is an extraordinary moment the fact that two men are standing here and we're talking about this um one thing you'd like to say one thing i like that dr khandelwal said was your mothers at home they may not you may not understand what they're going through but they're going through something what would you want the young and the older people here to understand yeah so one of my favorite quotes is anasuya sen gupta too many Just women in too many countries speaking the same language of silence yeah start talking start conversing start shouting start recognizing these areas which people don't normally talk about 
as far as women going through menopause you know women give so much to their families to societies they do it unconditionally and i tell people when my patients come to me with families it's time for payback and remember it's there are many different things one is the hormones but don't blame everything on hormones you also understand that at some point women do reach a point in their lives when they say you know what i've now had it and it's fine for someone to do that she's not being inconvenient she's not being difficult she needs you to give her the same love and care that she's given you i can all see her i life. i can see a lot of uh, the teachers and the older women in this audience uh, nodding in agreement i just want to present again to you the man of impact in 2023 from sanjit to dr sheryat a bigger round of applause let let doctor let nozir take a flight home that he remembers bigger round of applause come on come on come on louder louder thank you thank you